Now we'll continue with our studies of the book of Revelations. This is a question that came up yesterday about chapter 1. <clears throat> Jesus has the keys of hell and death. A lot of people question about hell. So there you go. Hell's an ongoing event. Before, gr the grave was hell. Being separated from God was hell. Okay, now Jesus has the keys of hell and death. We left that out yesterday. Now, <clears throat> he's the one that puts people in hell. It's appointed a man to die, and then you have the judgment. You don't have go to hell till you're judged. You get to appear before the throne of your Creator. Okay, now, here's four things to remember. If you remember these four things, it will help you to understand the book of Revelation, because Revelations is a complete destruction of the world. It's seven, 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 seven. It's complete. Seven means complete. Now today we start in the seven churches. Okay. Now <clears throat> you'll later you'll see you'll see the seven seals, and then you'll see the seven trumpets, and you'll see the seven vials, and all of its destruction, complete destruction. So watch and pray, and you're going to listen to the Son of God. You'll hear revelations like you never heard before. This is going to be different for you. So let's get started now, children. On chapter two, and I'm a son of God. You'll hear things different than you ever heard before. Starting out with it, in chapter 2 it says, Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus. Unto the angel. Now you know what stupid Bible worshippers say that is? They say that's the pastor of the church. Now how stupid can Bible worshippers get? Why does it say in, in chapter 11 of 1 Corinthians that a woman should have power on her head because of the presence of the angels? You see, and now they say the pastor is the angel. Well, if the pastor's angel, he knows who's a female and a, and a male. How stupid can Bible worshipers get? They ain't got no spirituality in their church, so they say unto the angel at the church at Ephesus, he was talking to the, the uh, pastor. These things says he that holdeth the seven stars. See, Jesus has the seven stars, the seven angels in his right hand, walketh in the midst of seven gold candlesticks. Now, what's the candlesticks? That's the church. The candlesticks are the church. I know your works and your labor and patience and how you cannot bear them which are evil. Tried them which say they're apostles and are not and found them to be liars. See, I'll tell you, these people with Bibles saying that uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are liars because it didn't start to the blood of, of Calvary. And has born and has patience and for my name's sake has labored and not fainting. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against you. Remember from whence you have fallen and repent lest I come in you quickly and remove. I'm going to come and remove what? The candlestick. What does that mean? He removed the church. All right? <clears throat> All these churches you're reading about here that Paul founded in uh, Asia Minor, the seven churches, they're gone. He's already removed the candlestick. All them uh, pedophiles over there, they don't even know nothing about no angel running their church. They're more orthodox Greek churches and things. They're of the devil. <clears throat> so he's already removed the candlestick. Now here's the thing I want you to teach you in the 6th verse. But you have uh, the, them there that I hate, but this you have, that you hate the deeds of the Nicolaitans. The Nicolaitans. He hates the deeds of the Nicolaitans. Now what's a Nicolaitan? That's people taking over <coughs> and trying to run the church. Like these Benny Hinn type of people. See, if you got the Holy Ghost, and Benny Hinn's got the Holy Ghost, y'all are one. You don't need Benny Hand taking your money. That's the Nicholas. They, they, the Nicholas. They hate them. The laity is they make, they make the people in the church the laity. You're the laity. Well, I'm the Nicholas. I, I rule you. You do what? Just like people on here says we're a cult. I don't tell none of y'all what to do. Holy Ghost tells you what to do. You have a head, and that's Jesus. I share with you. I'm a witness with you. I may have more than you do and be in it longer than you and be an elder, but I'm still letting the Holy Ghost control you. The Nicolaitans wouldn't do that. They're like these priests that you go bow down and kiss their rings. Well, they can kiss my, you know what? I'm not kissing no ring. Now, here's something I wanted to write on the board that they don't say today. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches. If you have an ear, hear what the Spirit says. Don't hear what the Bible says. The reason I'm reading this, this brother was in the Spirit and nobody ever teaches this right. you never heard a, a son of God teach this but me. I'm the only son of God in the world that teaches this. Okay. If you have an ear, hear what the Spirit says to the church. What does the preacher say today? Open your Bibles and hear what the Bible says. You know who he is? A pedophile. 
He's a Nicolaitan. He's ruling you. Don't let him rule you. Let the Holy Ghost rule you. And him that overcomes will I give to eat freely of the tree of life. Now here we go again. And she writes this on the board. To the angel of the church in Smyrna. Smyrna right. These things which is the first and last which is dead in his life. I know you work in tribulation and poverty. I know the blasphemy of them which say they're Jews and but are the synagogue of Satan. See, we're all Jews. We've been regenerated into Jesus Christ and we're a Jew. It's a salvation come from the Jews. We're grafted in unto Abraham's seed. He's our father. We're Jews. So some of them are not. Fear none of those things which you shall suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you in prison. And you may be tried and you'll have tribulation ten days. Be faithful unto death and I will give you a crown of life. Don't ever let nobody take your crown. Don't let no Nicolaitan preacher take your tithes or take your crown and cause you to worship an, a Bible idol. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. Okay, he that overcomes will not be hurt of the second death. You'll learn a lot. There's a second death. You'll die and then you'll raise again. You'll stand before God and if you worship the Bible, you're headed for your second death. All right, and to the angel of the church in Pergamos. Now this is the angels rules these churches. That we hear what the Holy Ghost says, we hear what the angels said. See, there's angels around me. He lit a candle for me. I'm part of the church. They, uh, you know the Baptists, the Mormons, the uh, Pentecostals, Jehovah's Witness, and Catholic pedophile bunch. You know they're not a church. Jesus don't rule that many churches. He rules one people. One people. You see. But, now listen, I want you to get this. I know where you dwell with them, where Satan's seat is. Now, they don't even know where Satan's seat is in these churches. Now, you know why? Because every seat in there is Satan's seat. Okay? You hold a faith in my name and has not denied my faith. Now, I want to write this on the board. I love this man. Nobody ever mentioned this man in history but me. Pay attention. Antipas. Antipas was my faithful martyr who was slain amongst you. Why was he slain amongst you? Because you let Satan in your church. He was slain. These Bible worshipers kills all of our people. Antipas was a martyr. A martyr. Remember his name. He's part of a, he is a very, very special member of our church. Antipas. So, but I have a few things against it because I ask them that hold the doctrine of Balaam. Now what did Balaam go out to get? Balaam went out for a reward. He was going to curse Israel. And he went for a reward. This is why they teach today, Beloved, I wish of all things you may prosper. That wants you to lust after the flesh and come and bring the money into the church and give it to them. That's Balaam. That's Balaam in the church today. They, he said, <clears throat> They taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel to eat things sacrificed unto idols and to commit fornication. You don't know what sacrificed to idols today. They sacrifice everything to the Bible. So you don't even know who them things are. And they also had the doctrine of the Nicolaitan. He said, Repent or I'll come against the fight against you with the sword of my mouth. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. If you overcome, I'll give you to eat the hidden manna and give him a white stone and in the stone a new name written which no man knoweth saith he that received. And unto the angel of Thyatira, Right, these things saith the Son of God who has eyes like a flame of fire and his feet like fine brass. I know you work charity, service, and faith, and patience, and work, and the last to be more than the first. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against you. You suffer that woman, Jezebel, Jezebel, to teach and seduce my servants and commit fornication. These things sacrifice. See, these old ungodly women come around and say, you can commit adultery. You know why? The Bible said they brought a woman committed adultery to Jesus. And why he straightway forgive her. See, you call people to commit adultery because you have your Bible and once you get saved, you always saved. You bunch of thugs, Bible worshiping, hypocrite, addicts, devils. You cause people to commit adultery because you got a Bible that once you get saved, you're always saved. So in Jezebel, she was causing them to commit adultery. And listen, you think Jesus is a kind little old, all these lovey dovey people. I want you to listen to this lovey dovey Jesus. Behold, I will cast her into a bed. That's a sick bed. He's talking about a sick bed. I'll cast her in a bed. She won't be able to get up. She's going to be sick with cancer or something. And them that commit adultery with her, this old whore, into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. And listen to what Jesus said. And I will kill her children with death. You can write that on the board if you want to. I will kill 
her children with death. This is a king you're talking about now. He's not standing before Pilate no more. He shed his blood. I will kill her children with death. Oh, you lovey dovey. People that says don't hate nobody. Jesus said, I will kill your children with death. And he will. And, and he's going to do it because he is the king. And he said, you, you shall know that I am he which searches the reins and hearts. And I will give everyone according to your work. But unto you, uh, the rest in Tyler, as many as have not this doctrine, which have not known the depths of Satan. Today people don't know the depths of Satan. As they speak, I will put upon you none other burden. But that which you have already hold fast to God. He that overcome and keep my words to the end, to him will I give power over the nation. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter. And they shall be broken to shiver, even I receive of my father. And I will give him the morning star. Now listen to this, last part of the book of uh, Revelation chapter 2. This is four churches. Now this is what he says, the last thing he said. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the church. So, now you're going to hear some good things. We're going to continue with the seven churches tomorrow chapter 3. You're going to hear about the old whore. You're going to hear about the abomination makes desolation. You're going to hear about... Uh, the beast, the two beasts, you're going to hear about the two witnesses. You're going to hear things that you never heard before. You're going to hear about the four horses, different than you ever heard before. And you're going to be learning things in the book of Revelation you never heard before. See, Jesus said, I hate, I hate the doctrine of the Nicolaitans. I hate the doctrine of the Baptists. Tells you once you get saved, you're always saved. You tell that to Ananias and Sapphira. They had the Holy Ghost. I hate the doctrine of the Bible worshiping devil. That tells you once you get saved, you're always saved. I hate Jizzy Bell. Causes you to commit adultery. And tells you you can be forgiven. Because once you're saved, you're always... You're a bunch of lying devil. You listen to me when I teach you revelation. This man was in the spirit. He's my brother. And he come to me and said, I'll teach you spiritual things. And I know revelations better than anybody in America or in this hemisphere. From Brazil to Canada. They don't teach it right. Jesus said, I hate the Nicolaitan. I will kill her children. You better listen. You're getting ready for hard times coming. And you better know Jesus ain't no baby in a manger no more. And he ain't standing before Pilate no more. Pilate's standing before him. You get this and you learn this book. You learn what the Spirit says to the church. Open your ears and listen to what God is teaching you today. Because if you don't get this, you're going to be in serious trouble. Now tune in again tomorrow. And we'll have more about the third chapter of the book of Revelation. Three more churches, seven churches.